PS and the mayor announced that they started a DC education equity fund to try to get resources to all students. They said they'll start handing out laptops to high schoolers next week, but they couldn't confirm a timeline for when every student will be able to receive one as they start learning from home. I can see. Siobhan Collier, mother of two Ketchum Elementary students, took on a new role Tuesday, teacher. It was very hard trying to um, teach two students in two different great levels. She says what makes this new distance learning harder is the lack of access to laptops and Wi-Fi. Right now, um, we're working off of an iPad that I have, and even if I did receive a laptop, we're borrowing someone else's Wi-Fi right now. The chancellor for D.C. public schools said 30 percent of their students don't have access to a device or Wi-Fi at home. They're working to change that by handing out some of the 18,000 they have available, enough for every student in need. Siobhan said Ketchum is offering some device help, but so far the district has only guaranteed laptops for high schoolers. I think that we would be over promising if we said that we're going to close the digital divide in the middle of a global pandemic. And the mayor admitted a lack of Wi-Fi hotspots, specifically where Siobhan lives in wards seven and eight. She said they're working on it. I don't know how you expect our students to be able to be ready for the next grade. Um, I have a fifth grader. She's entering middle school next year. How am I going to possibly get her ready for that by myself um, without the resources that she needs? The Washington Teachers Union put out a statement demanding that DCPS release all the laptops immediately. I know our health is more important, but um, we still need those resources and that help you know, to help us all get by this, especially our school children. In Washington, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.